What's up guys, Modelbus98 here, and today I have another review. Today we're going to be looking at a Corgi Om original Omnibus um, Optair Solo, so let's take a look. So if you didn't already know, this is a commission by Omnideca Models, so many thanks to them for commissioning the model. And yeah, there is nothing particularly odd about the box, um, apart from the fact it's red and says Omnideca Models. Um, just looks like any uh, corgi bus. Underneath it does come in a clear acetate display case. And um, it says this one is a run of 1000. It doesn't make it clear whether that's for both routes. So I assume that's for each route because there are two routes done with this. Um, but yeah, um, so it's pretty nice that you get um, a certificate. And um, it displays very well. So from the, from the side, um, it's a very good looking model, obviously. I mean, it's very proportionate. Um, it doesn't lack details. Obviously, being a Corgi model, it's not quite as realistic as some of the North Corg models. I guess the immediate thing to pick is that the blind is just a transfer. It's not an actual blind underneath any glass. Um, but you already knew this about most Corgi models anyway. Um, the lights are painted on and but apart from that I mean it just looks good to be honest um, and it'll look good on a shelf. From the rear it's also a very well proportioned model. I like the fact that the wheels seem to be accurate with the uh, correct wheel axles and wheels. Um, yeah handlebars seem to be correct and yeah the overall look um, is very nice. It's not going to be having anyone raise questions um, like some of the other models we've had. Um, it isn't massive on detailing, um, but that's because the actual buses are quite plain. Looking at some of the more minor details of the bus, um, there's nothing particularly special going on here. Um, you can see um, the route and of course the interior, standard on um, seats. Um, I like the TFL Buses logo, and um, yep, at the rear causing for cyclists, always important nowadays. Um, a fan at the rear. I should actually mention that at the top, it does have a rear window hatch at the top, um, which is nice. And uh, fuel cap. So yeah, um, no complaints there. Um, detailing seems to be... Um, very good. I wouldn't hesitate um, to give that a passing grade there. So that concludes the review for this Optair Solo. Overall, what would I say? Well, I mean, it's a great model. There's not really, there's nothing particularly special about it, but it's just a great model overall. There's nothing wrong with it at the same time. And if this is your kind of thing, then I'm sure you'll like it. I'm really glad to see they're making more of these modern models. Um, and I have to mention as well, um, the price, I think I paid only £25, which is quite good, to be honest. Um, I haven't paid that low for a brand new London model in quite a long time. Um, so um, definitely kudos for keeping the price low. And um, yeah, for getting out and making these models. So that's great. I hope we continue to see more of these. Um, I, I would also hope, um, because I've had kind of had quick scroll through the Facebook page it looks like we're also going to get a lot of um, non-London models as well which is nice because people are always complaining about the fact that there are too many London models and even if you um, disagree and you think they're fun you have to agree there are a lot of London models out there um, but yeah um, apart from that um, I you know give the model a solid pass and definitely recommend buying it um, it looks great in the flesh um, as well as if not better as on video so yeah thank you very much for watching um if you want to see other vi videos like this um, please feel free to check out the channel and apart from that i'll catch you in the next one bye for now